Hi, Superspruce here, back with another Factorio++ Plus Plus video, episode 7. And, as you can see, well, this stopped, so... Yeah, I need to get some more iron into here so I can start researching some more stuff. But, you know, this manual putting in, like, resources? Yeah, that that's lame. I need to automate that, so... That's what I'm going to be doing in this episode. Automating science. So... Um, red science is going to be very easy, and green science will be a little harder, but I already have all the materials I need at this point, so it shouldn't be too bad. So, it starts with red science, and I already have copper plates here. I probably can just, I'm not sure how willing I am to do it from, I, I know, I don't, I'm not really willing to do it from the, from like the belt, the things that make green circuits, so... It may be a little redundant to do it like this, but I will be um, belting in another belt of green circuits. Not green circuits, um, copper plates. So to make red science, all I need is one copper plate and one iron gear wheel. And that that's gonna be um, very, very easy. Or, or not gonna be that hard. Compare at least compared to other sciences. Wait until I get to blue science. When I get to blue science, red science is gonna feel like the easiest thing ever. So, yeah. And the reason why I am gonna grab it from from this lower one instead of the upper one is I'm already grabbing the upper one for something. So I'm gonna grab the lower one. I can just balance like this, and yeah. Uh, I don't know why it's. Uh, it's because I'm, I need to do it like this. So I will need some more underground belts. And my five assembly machines. I guess this will this will be definitely be good for red science. Um, just do it like this. Honestly, I don't even need five. Four is enough for this. So now i also need to grab some iron gear wheels so i'll be grabbing it like this it'll be it's even simpler than the copper plates and now i need the output line this is where the science is gonna go and maybe instead of doing it like this perhaps i can i'm not sure where i'm gonna put the labs because it's gonna be a whole lab thing that i am going to be using somewhere and Maybe just up here is good for now because at this point in the game, I'm not going to need a crazy amount of assembling machines to make um, science. So I'm going to do it like, the thing is I will need to sort of, we'll need to cross the um, river here, but shouldn't be that bad. Or even I can, I can even do it like this. Or it goes down, but then it'll, it'll go up once I get, like, green science. Um, I, I can even do it something on, like, the other side here if I want to expand on the red science. So, yeah, that's what I'll be doing at this point. So, this will be making red science. So, all I need is these inserters. Um, same with the lanky inserters. I can do it like this. This is probably the best way. Um... I'm trying to think of the best one. Probably like this. Where I have a... Like... Yeah, this is good. And then just get one right here. And... Now all I need to do is... Um, get... Assign this to red science. And do it like this. So now I just need electricity, which... is going to be very easy. And boom, now I am auto-crafting red science. It takes a while to do so, so that's why you don't see any effects immediately, but now you can see the effects are here. So I'm just going to bring this out a little bit, and now I'm going to do the same for green science. Green science is a lot more complicated than red science, so yeah, I will, I will, need, I will need to keep that in mind.
So, so perhaps the best thing for green science is to do something like this, where I, um, because to make green science, I haven't even showed you this. I need one transport belt and one inserter. So I'm going to do it from the end to the beginning. So the green science will start here with, um, this will either be a transfer belt or an inserter. Same with this. Um, these will be holding these two items. Yes, you can place transfer belts on transfer belts. I know. So now I'm just getting some more things set up with this build. Um, these essentially will be grabbing an inserter and a transfer belt. So I'm going to already set it up like this. This will be green science. And um, now, well, I need an output. So the output belt will go right here. And again, I will need some lanky inserters for this, um, like this. And this will work just fine. So I can do this and this and this. So this will, once I get electricity like across, which I can probably just do by, uh, I don't know, just, I'll, I'll just, maybe, maybe I can do, perhaps I, I, I want a, one electricity line to go like this. So, so that's, this is what I'll be doing. I'll just be going all the way from here and then just do, I, I don't want it to block the road. So I can just do this. Now I'm going to actually need the inputs and, and I need some stuff here. So the inputs is going to be, well, it's a little bit tricky. So one of them is transfer belts. One of them is inserters. Now, probably the simplest thing to do is to do this. And you may be concerned that this long handed insert or lanky inserter will not, it will not actually put it on the belt, but it actually will put it on the belt. So that's pretty neat. This allows me to, well, let me put another inserter. I mean, maybe this isn't the best idea because I probably will again be doing the same idea of this. So maybe this is a dumb idea. Maybe it's smart. I don't know. I guess I can do something like this. Yeah, that works. Um, so this will be where the inserters even come from. It's not like that. Um, and... Well, I'm going to need to craft the inserters, or maybe it's the... I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't really matter which end has the inserters and which end has the transfer belts. And unfortunately, I'm actually coming across a cliff. And they're immovable until later on. But it's pretty far later on. So I may be pretty stuck for quite a, quite a while because of, of this cliff that was unfortunately right in my way. Also, this, this belt is gonna, this bus is gonna also go right over this, this 2.5 million iron ore and then some cup rum ferrets as well. And then some little level of silver and a tiny bit of gold. I don't know why there's some gold there, but there is. So yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to also get the second input um, for these ready. So now what I'm doing is I'm just, this will essentially be um, the, I, I have no idea which one it's going to be, but it'll be something. So it'll be a splitter here. Probably need to make some more splitters except I'm out of iron, so got to get that. Um, so I can make a few splitters and... This will be the second input onto here. Except, however, if I do it that way, yeah, okay, I, I need to place this one over because if I was doing it, no, that doesn't even matter. What am I saying? This is, this is the other side. I was thinking like, I need something like this, but I, um, yeah, I, I'm okay with what this is doing. So I don't really need this going at this point because I don't need green science that way. The thing is now comes, well, I need to make the more assembling machines. 
So, what am I missing? Just iron. So, what this is going to do, I only need one, probably. Maybe maybe two. But I'm going to make something that automates um, transfer belts and something that automates inserters. So, yeah, maybe what I can do here is that transport belts can go here. Um, and yes, I'm, I'm using as little space as I can because I'm pretty cramped with this cliff right here. So this will be the output of, maybe I don't even want it to be like that. Maybe I want the output to, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna do transfer belts on this one. So this will be like this. I need iron plates and iron gear wheels to get that going. Actually, I need to move that one over because um, I, mean, I don't think I quite need to, but I, that's what I want to do. So um, again, it's going to save space that way if I do it like this. So this will, again, use lanky inserters. Um, should be doing like this. And just again, grabbing the iron gear wheels. So this will be making um, some transfer belts. They're, they're also gonna be very useful to just get like on my own. So I'll probably be using the double splitter or not, not double splitter, like the double, like this technique. Um, where I'm using like double output. That's what I mean. So this will essentially, it'll have two outputs. One will just go to a chest so I can get more transfer belts. The other will, um, the, the other will, will go into making green science. So, except that's just one of the inputs. The other is going to be right here. I will also probably be using this exact iron for, um, for also of the inserters. So again, I'm gonna be using the same recipe here. Probably can just do this. Um, same with this, get this going. And just use one more electric pole. I'm gonna take the iron out of the second one of these um, for the same reason as what I did with the copper because I wanted to see sort of be balanced um, at this point, I could just do it like this, and that will work fine. I know this is a long episode. I'm sorry. Maybe I should just end it here. Maybe not. Um, I just really want to at least get the green science automated. Like that's something very important. Um, just do it like this and get this. Actually, no. I'm getting gears. What am I doing? I can just grab them like this. Um, I need iron, not gears. Um, here is where I would do this. Put a splitter here. Get this going. Now, it'll be, um, I will be good. So this now comes the inserters. So um, again, it'll be the similar concept to what I did before with the chest here. I'll be using a couple more lanky inserters. Um, to grab iron because I'm also going to be grabbing um, gear wheels. I can probably do something like this where I split it off and then do this. This should allow me to save some space. Just do this, do this, and this will be iron gear wheels because I know I need plates, iron gear wheels, and then also green circuits to make um, the inserters. So what I'm doing here, this will be input, this will be output. Um, the output will go into here so I can, I'll be able to make, well, I'll be able to make green science. So this means I need to grab some green circuits for the first time. So I could probably just do it like uh, this and then just this and then same same here just 
to need a quite, quite a lot, unfortunately. But now, green circuits will be in this belt. Now, this means I can start placing more stuff down. Like this. So, once I get electric poles going, I think I will be... Okay, I'm not quite all the way. Still need to get a few more things. Um, but I'm, I'm getting close at this point. So, I can just do it like this and this and this and i think i i think this is complete um actually i need to assign this to inserters and boom i'm now making inserters which will allow me to automate green science which is huge like once this the inserters come i will start being able to get all of this automated and yeah, I know this is a long episode, but hopefully you can see just how, how much, how complicated this game can be. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.